In opening statements this morning, the prosecution laid out what happened and argued that those two deputies should have known better when they left a drunk 23 year old handcuffed face down in the back of their van for 16 minutes and two seconds. The defense blames the managers of the police and sheriff's department, saying that those extra back to school patrols at CU Boulder were unorganized and left those officers on the line unprepared. Nearly three years ago, a 23 year old was walking home with friends after celebrating his birthday when he sat down in the grass at 9th and Canyon in Boulder. Body camera footage played in court by the defense shows an officer stopping and deciding the man was too drunk to go home and needed to be transported to a detox center. Detectives would later learn his blood alcohol content was 0.352. Video shows Demetrius Shankling, or Debo, as his friends and family call him, handcuffed and put in the back of this transport van face first by two Boulder County deputies. Adam Lunn and James O'Brien are seen leaning against the door of the van to try to shut it. The defense says Shankling was pushing back with his feet. The prosecution says the six foot tall man was too big to be lying in the four foot nine inch compartment. When the deputies arrived at the detox center, Shankling wasn't breathing. A forensic pathologist called his cause of death positional asphyxia with alcohol and amphetamines contributing. That means Shankling didn't have enough oxygen going to his brain based on the way he was positioned. In opening statements, the defense attorney said Lunn and O'Brien had never driven a transport van and were not trained on how to use it. But the district attorney's office is adamant the deputies did have training on how to avoid positional asphyxia, and they should have known better than to keep a drunk man lying on his stomach for 16 minutes and two seconds. In court today, Shankling's mom threw her hands up in the air when she watched the video of those deputies putting her son in the back of the van face down. She had to leave the courtroom when audio was played of the deputies discovering her son was not breathing. Those two deputies, Lunn and O'Brien, are currently not in custody. They are both charged with manslaughter and if convicted, could face two to six years in prison. In Boulder, Katie Eastman, Nine News.